Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading from today all the way through August 2021. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my booking site where you can get a 30 minute, one hour or a two hour phone call reading. All right. Um, please do hit like, share and subscribe on my channel if you enjoy this these readings and the videos. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. Past energy, present, challenge, driving the reading, crowning, your future, your advice, external to you, hopes and fears, outcome. Huh. King of Wands came out reversed. Okay, I don't usually pull them, but I'll read them for both ways for you. All right, let's take a look at your love messages here. Okay, so let me see. We have Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Scorpio. All right, let's see what the love messages are here for you. Okay, past life relationship. Let your friends help you and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. You have romantic feelings for someone whom you felt was a past life connection. Okay. Um, but for some reason, you're asking for and accepting support and help from other people. In regards to this, um, I do feel like your person, whomever you were connected with, did feel this energy that this was a past life thing. And I feel that they too had romantic feelings for you or still do. But there's something here with the friends needing, get, needing or getting some help from friends in regards to a relationship or a connection that you both were in here. Okay, Five of Wands energy. Something was quite unmanageable and uncertain. And I feel like your person is trying to sort out whether or not, like how to come into realignment or whether or not to be free, to free themselves from the connection, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, here's karma opening up this person's having some kind of a, a wake-up call about something in regards to how they feel now i see defensive energy here in the past between you and another person um this is a lot of blocking energy this is like protection very protective both of you in this connection either one one was protective of themselves or guarding their heart or you know kind of standing up and not letting another person in and then the other person was doing the same so there's kind of like a mirroring energy that was happening in the past the hierophant is here so something to do about a committed relationship or conforming or um coming into union with someone you know that's these are like expectations this is all about conventional um, and uh, conventional expectations and uh, traditions, right? Marriage, blocking commitment, blocking marriage, or that kind of energy. Somebody was blocking from uh, conforming into uh, some kind of traditional relationship. Okay, King of Pentacles energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe it was you. Or it was the other person, whomever you were connecting with. There was somebody might have in the past. Someone here said, um, "Yeah, I'm against marriage," or "I don't want to get married," or "I don't believe in that," or "I block, I block, I'm blocking that energy. That's not something that I do." Okay. So the present energy is, <laughs> you know, this is a very physical sexual union here that I'm seeing. Okay, the present energy is trying to have like a, a somebody's got an urge, a really strong urge for physical uh, <laughs> obsessiveness, trying to block that 
right? There's a really strong urge, but it's a real challenge to see that through. But somebody here wants, there's potential. They, I feel like somebody wants to kind of like initiate that energy, that physical thing. Oh, yeah. Must have been some kind of a heartbreak heartbreaking situation an argument or something heal the argument i just heard or heal repair the relationship through physical contact okay physical intimate um pleasure type of energy here okay so that's playing out in the present hmm That energy, though, that devil energy caused some kind of chaos or breakup of some sort. And there's this, I don't know, I just kind of feel like you might be feeling that coming in from somebody here. That they're trying to connect with you in a physical way. Putting that first, right? That's how this person, I feel like, is trying to make the connection with you now is this a past person it could be it could be a past person coming back in with past life relationship um but i feel like this person is also exploring the fact that they have deep feelings for you romantic feelings for you okay look at this tower card here driving this reading the subconscious this is somebody's needing release this is like it's been a pressure cooker and it's like boom exploding this is also um, destruction of ego as well I kind of feel I, I get a sense that somebody's quite conflicted here it feels like there's a very strong physical thing and some and somebody did not want to get into a traditional relationship there was a, lo a lot of urges here someone has a difficult time controlling their urges their physical urges look at that i mean if that's not something that's on a, a partner hub site i don't know what is but that energy it feels like very strong <laughs> Let's get a clarifying card here. Yeah, there's the devil again. This could be um, an addiction to like pleasure. I have to be careful of the words I say because of my, my ad sponsors here. But an addiction to pleasure. Somebody, and they're addicted to, somebody's addicted to pleasure to each other you know um you and your person it could be you feeling that way or it's your person but i feel like whoever it is that energy is very strong okay um it's interesting yeah addicted to the pleasure but non-committal that's what i feel like here <laughs> fantasy is mostly if it's not non-committal i mean they're committed to that but it's like fantasy. Somebody has extreme physical fantasies of you. <laughs> now what's crowning is the Ten of Pentacles. This, it's kind of like coming down from above where it's like this needs to stabilize. This needs to be grounded and healthy because it feels very toxic. This connection. The way it is. Somebody seeking security and stability. Marriage long-term security okay somebody here is actually thinking about it is this going to happen can this happen i definitely feel the driving force of somebody here in this connection the driving force is the physical but what's crowning down is can this relationship actually go into a committed type of a thing okay it's questionable it's like stop and take a look and see 
if it's possible, contemplate this. It's what I, what I feel. Maybe you're contemplating this. It could be your person. But the energy for both is both of you contemplating because the physical is really good. But the topic in question is, can this be more? Um, and this is like a waiting energy as well. Uh, somebody's not fully making a decision about this, both of you at this time. It's like thinking about it. Do I want more or do I, do I need more? Because it seems like there's always an initiation of this physical thing, but then it winds up, you know, leading to an argument or a heartbreak or breaking up or it just hurts because there's nothing else with it. Oh, this, you know, the obstacle, that's what's in the way. How do we how do we have a new start and create something that would have actual growth to it in a healthy way, not in a toxic way? So I feel like moving forward towards the end of the month, the Nine of Pentacles energy is here. Somebody here, that's a Virgo card, so that's really you making a decision that you're just going to stay single and not engage in this connection here. I feel like your person is trying to figure out, like they know that there's a past life connection here. They, you know, they may not call it that, but they know that there was something here between the two of you, like you see how it says, you have known each other before. You know, this person is aware that there's a similarity and a familiarity between the two of you. They don't know how to go about this connection to be more than just the physical. And I feel like they're waking up to this energy that maybe they were defending or blocking. Um, also... This person might have been competing with you, like who can outdo the other, which is very bizarre. Um, it's also that this person, you were a challenge to them in a lot of ways. I'm not exactly sure how, um, but there was a conquering energy here. And I feel like this person is kind of, maybe their friends are telling them, you know, are you going to go through your whole life just conquering the opposite sex just for your ego? Okay. Um, I feel like they might have some people who are like talking to them and saying, you know, that's not what's important anymore. This karma judgment card is clarity. Um, having a wake up call in their life purpose. And I feel like they may have some friends that are telling them, so let me guess, your life purpose is to just go out and have fun with as many people as you can. That's what your life purpose is. There's some kind of wake up. I'm waking up to the fact that they really do have romantic feelings for you. But Virgo, you're, towards the end of the month, I mean, that's them having a wake up call. You're kind of like, I'm just, you're being single. You just want to be on your own. I feel like you're not going to entertain something here anymore. Your advice, <laughs> you have the star. Your advice is, you know, heal yourself. <laughs> you know, um, get some clarity about what's going on in your life. Like, get some truth. Be honest with yourself. Don't, don't gaslight yourself about anything. Um, be honest with yourself with this person. I mean, what areas is this person willing, motivated, and capable? Are they willing, motivated, and capable to have a healthy relationship with you or just have a physical one? Like, have faith in yourself that you're capable of gaining this clarity because I feel like some of you are... Some of you have a little confusion, but I feel like that's because some of you are going through like a healing thing at this time. You're trying to sort it out. You're trying to
I don't know that they just said not trying to tell Virgo to just stay in faith. Let's take a look. Why do they need to stay in faith? Some of you might be just trying to shine bright like a diamond right now. That's that star energy. Be a star in your own world. Star in your own movies. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So the tower is here. Um, I feel like the message for some of you is... If you're deciding that, if you're in this position here, that you're deciding that you don't want to have this kind of connection anymore and you want something stable and a marriage and, you know, someone who is grounded and can be a good provider and you can both have that. Um, and you decide that you're going to walk away. I feel like there's going to be, the clarity is that you're, everything is breaking down and there's going to be a major upheaval in your life when you realize, right when you realize that this is not going to work for you is exactly the moment that this person is having a wake-up call and karma is kind of, I don't want to say karma is like hitting them, but they gain clarity. It's kind of like, being schooled or being taught something here a waking up to how they feel about you and the fact that there is a connection here that that you were both meant for one another so here they have the five of wands so what are they going through currently <clears throat> a lot of challenges in their life at this time they have a lot of challenges um <laughs> It's interesting because they not only have it here, but they have it here too. Um, there is a there is a realization that they put obstacles in front of this connection for it to be more. There is a realization that they may have been competing or causing these challenges and these problems. Um, they realize they may have been <coughs> excuse me taking this relationship on as more of sport and conquership then is that a word conquership sport or conquering rather than healthy uh, this person's there's a lot of competitiveness attached to this person yep making massive change here's the world again um, there's travel here as well this person I feel like they might be traveling right now or competing in some some sport or something. Ha! Huh, there's a King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, this person's got like, um, it's an ego thing. And I feel like when I was giving you your advice, I feel like this person is like, just wait, you'll see. They're going to get struck in the head their ego is going to get hit. And that's when all the light then is able to come in with the star. That's when the wisdom and the spiritual insight comes in for this person and for you, for both of you. Oh, they, like it feels like a wake up call for them. But their friends are bringing the karma. I don't know how, but their friends bring the challenge to this person, their, their friends, or the people they're around, or the people they ask for help and support are the ones that, that are bringing them the wake up and the truth about something. Now maybe your person asks for their opinion or advice about whatever they're doing in their life or not doing or the, in this connection. Maybe they open up, they might, for some of you, uh, open up to them and they give, and their friends give them the truth. So the hope here is for victory and to win, okay, um, to be successful. The hope here is to receive some good news or recognition from both or both of you to recognize the true love and the feelings towards each other. 
But Virgo, yeah, the hope is for change and for things to begin to move forward in a positive way. But Virgo, I feel like you are seriously going to walk away and move on from this connection because it feels like this person does come to terms with things but to get for them to walk away from this king of wands in the reverse i feel like there's a lot of flip-flopping and i feel like you got to be careful because they may have a small epiphany um, I want to say a spiritual experience like wow but is it enough to be a wake-up call to cause change it takes it's really hard for people to change and I, I feel like if you were to go back to this person or allow them to come back into your life I feel like they would you know then turn around again to be in this king of wands reversed energy which would be someone who's a bully or has um sexual problems or is just not ready and they wind up walking away or um, you know abandoning the connection and that's not the best outcome I mean I know you guys want to have like this I feel like this person because remember I said it came out reverse but then I saw upright or whatever it was I feel like this person is like sometimes they're on top of their game and they're good and that you can trust them and they're bold and they take leadership and then other times they slip back into this energy because um, I feel like this person does think about having this kind of uh, long-term stable connection with you but this drives them this devil energy really drives them and their friends are really not enough. I feel like their friends tell them, or these whoever they're connected to, friends, family, whoever talks to them, I feel like they, they get like that wake up call here, karma kind of thing. But is it enough to sustain on their own? I don't think so. I think this person needs to go into like some counseling or something. And I, I feel like Virgo, you probably already know that and you won't want to take them back you would probably just it looks like you're just going to stay single and see what they do um i don't really see this person technically coming back into your life let's see eight of pentacles well they will be communicating with you they will be giving you some clarity and truth. I've changed the world card. I start a new chapter in my life. I'm doing things differently. I'm going to be more consistent. I know there was a lot of challenges, but I'm willing to overcome the obstacles and the challenges. Um, and you're going to see that with this tower card here, with your advice is to see that breakdown. But... I feel like a relapse. That's what I feel like. Whether there's a drug addiction, whatever the addiction is, is running that they couldn't commit because of their addiction. I feel like you're protecting yourself in a lot of ways. Yep, four of swords. You're kind of like going silent here. Retreating, solitude, recovery you may also want to stay single to see if this person is going to get the recovery or whatever it is that they need to have will this person go back out possibly at the end here four of cups yeah will it be permanent i i'm not really sure about that because i feel like there'll be like a temporary separation towards the end which is what the eight of cups is like a temporary withdrawal or separation here um which tells me that like if you were to take this person back too soon you know that's kind of like you know pulling the chicken out of the oven before it's fully cooked you know it's gonna have to go back in the oven and i feel like that's kind of what you're gonna be doing 
Yeah, but then the lovers is here. This is your twin flame, definitely. Past life, this is a connection. It's a real struggle with this person. And for both of you, okay? Um, I feel like you both want this. You both want to be together. Will you come back together? I feel like you you can come back together or you may not split but you may have to just get yourself in a position to understand that it is possible that there's going to be this possible like possible relapse or them abandoning their connection or getting very you know king of wandsy in reverse no matter what the sign is but um you know being not ready thinking they're ready but then not being ready to do it fully yep eight of cups again here you go so pulling away um I, this just this doesn't feel like forever this because I, I don't really feel like you're going to take somebody back if they come back for you it might just be wait it's too soon you're not ready you might just say you might deny any love offer that comes in because you're separating yourself from it they're separating it's not time yet it's not time yet for you guys to it's too soon i feel like virgo when they contact you or communicate with you they will tell you the truth but i feel like for you it's it's not you're, you're, you might tell them, we have to wait longer, I need to see more. Put away the computer, working less will help strengthen your relationship. So I feel like some of you are definitely like pushing yourself away from the dinner table, away from the plate, and away from the computer, um, and focusing on health and healing. Um, this person is doing the same as well, okay? Maybe there was like computer addiction or video game addiction. <clears throat> that was taking over um, that prevented this relationship to have a healthy connection it could have been workaholism could have been drug or alcohol or other things you know interfering I hid who I really am from you yeah this person was self-medicating in other things time apart okay some distance will help bring some clarity and I feel like Virgo you're instigating that here I am becoming a better person. I do feel like your person is trying to become a better person. Um, and if they tell you that, that's great. You could just, you know, say, I wish you all the best. But becoming a better person, becoming is a verb, okay? Um, I am becoming means they're showing. And that's what you're kind of wanting to see. Try something you've never done before, passion. I feel like that's for you, Virgo. Um, to take up some kind of hobby or something that you enjoy um, to begin or to go back to something you used to enjoy doing, whatever it might be, um, whatever it might be, whatever you're passionate about, I feel like that message is for you or to do something you've never done before. And for some of you, this might even be not going back to this relationship too quickly you might have a strong passion for this person even if they come back in and and something you've never done before is to say no for now that might be the the that might be something new for you for others that's not new for you and for others it's oh you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna learn how to um i don't know i'm gonna do something new something creative pick up a new passion a hobby of some sort okay i wish i could share my good news with you huh. virgo i kind of feel like whatever you're doing in your life like you're not communicating with this person and you may miss that that you have good stuff happening in your life and there's good news happening that's coming for you and you can't share that with this person and you want to but you're coming to terms with, for some of you, that um, maybe you were giving too much to this person and enabling too much for them. And um, there's something here about, there was, there was a, a connection, definitely, and a good balance between the two of you in many areas, but 
it feels like now you're seeking balance and for now i feel like it's you're saying to yourself i can't keep giving to this when i'm getting nothing in return and you're allowing the other person to come to terms with what they want and how they feel and what they want to do going forward instead of trying to coerce it or try to have them come back into this hierophant energy with you because i feel like your person was a bit the um i don't want to say maybe defensive but a, more like a no a lot of the time like pushing it away this king of pentacles i just kind of feel like he's very focused on his money or aesthetic things i feel i mean the king of pentacles is someone who's good to be in a relationship with because he's a long-term he or she is a long-term kind of person but it's also um you might have been taking on if you're female a more masculine role in this relationship and fighting for this connection more than the other person was um i was just picking up that message here okay you came closer than anyone so this person knows that I don't know that they feel like they're losing you. I don't know that you're purposely telling them that it's you don't want to be with them anymore or if if you're giving off that vibe or if you're still together or not. But I feel like this person did not let anybody get as close to you as to them as you did in the way that you did and i feel like you see things about this person not in like a super negative way but in a nurturing way like you know that this person needs to get some kind of uh th something sorted out within themselves your true love is already a part of your life yeah see this is a this definitely is a true love connection and this person does not know how to let you go um and that's why i do feel like there will be communication and i do feel like they want they they are exploring how they feel and they do have they know that you guys are lovers they know that you are both meant for one another but they have other, some other stuff going on that's in the way of this connection that really takes a toll on this relationship. Okay, so let's take a look at your charms. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I just heard that song. You are beautiful. And, and Christina Aguilera. I'm not going to sing it because you guys, you know, I sing. Okay, wow. Now we have a violin. Okay, maybe somebody plays a violin. I think that's a violin. Yeah. Or a bass. Um, there's music. I'm feeling music. Um, and there's like a, a bottle opener. Um, maybe you met this person or they sang this to you. You had drinks together or you met them in like, um, you know, a bar or a restaurant or something. And that song was playing. Maybe that was your song. Um, Where you sing that song you have a bottle opener right now you're opening up like a bottle of wine or a beer <laughs> opening up a beer okay so we've got a baby footprint here so there is like one small step there's baby steps and i feel like that's the message here for you virgo um they are coming in to give you clarity and truth and tell you they want to overcome these things the challenges and problems but i don't know it's not that you don't trust this person but i feel like you're not making any moves you're kind of quiet at this time and here's a hanger so you're gonna make this there's there's a, a waiting energy um i feel like you're gonna leave this person hanging for a little while until you're sure about if they're gonna follow through with the things they say they want and uh well somebody I don't know if you have a boutique or you're shopping in a boutique. I knew a girl that um, collected these fancy hangers, right? Like as a hobby, she collected these fancy, beautiful hangers, like boutique hangers. She just loved them. Um, and then there could be something here to do with a child or a baby, 
or somebody having a baby or maybe there's a new baby um, maybe from you or or you have a baby with this person or there's a desire for that or a grandchild as well I'm hearing oh what the heck is this that looks like a reindeer like some antlers I don't know Rudolph is somebody's name Rudolph or Rudy <laughs> that looks like a reindeer or you live somewhere where there's these what are these called I don't know the reindeer with the with the um, big large antlers where are they from I don't know somewhere well in America I guess the northwest or midwest north mid midwest okay kissy lips here all right somebody's getting a or get, getting or giving kissy lips uh text emoji are you trying on lipstick right now <laughs> or somebody has these antlers or like an animal head that hangs on the wall somewhere uh-oh mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all who said that there's a mirror are you looking in the mirror as you're listening to this doing your makeup this is all about oh that's it i said there was a mirroring energy did i say that i felt that there's a mirroring mirroring energy here you're both going through healing changes at this time you also are exploring your feelings for this person and you are also waking up to um the battles talking to friends getting clarity opening yourself up i feel like you also love this person very much and you see this person as your one true love from your past but you're both kind of going through these changes right now and when you look in the mirror at this time you're getting you're seeing the truth about yourself and about this relationship and what it's really all about or has been or the focus oh wow we've got the um the fish and this is for the um the loaves of fish a story in the bible I don't know if you know that story, but it's a beautiful story about having faith. And the fish is also about peace. And I'm just seeing in my mind's eye the page of cups where the fish is in the cup. Um, all right, I'm not going to pull any more. This was kind of deep. I actually did a reading prior to this, and as I was recording, the whole video cut out. So. I don't know what happened here <laughs> I don't uh, this this one was much deeper than the last one the last one was and it just disappeared but I will tell you there was a new love coming into your life but there was also a reconciliation situation and it kind of felt the same where you just weren't trying to make a decision you in the reading were seriously just trying to sort out things for yourself and what you wanted or what direction you wanted to go but let's get one more card i want to give you an advice card um, before i end the reading here for you what is virgo's advice card here okay you have the three of earth do what you love virgo recognition comes for the highest quality of your work especially creative endeavors you will be paid well for your craft and you're going to be working well with others and have an excellent reputation for what you create you have an excellent reputation at this time um, you're learning new skills and if you're not get in there that's why i was saying um, passion hobby um, there's also there's also working well with others is teamwork, collaboration, and that can be a marriage card for some of you coming up for you. And then you also have the six of six of wind. This is the end of challenging times for you, Virgo. Things will be looking up very soon and a welcome relief. Finding I see 
you're finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or an illness, and there may be travel or relocation coming up. So you might be buying a new home or you're traveling somewhere um, or you're moving home or, you know, relocating to a different area at this time in your life but this is like things start moving forward and whatever you've been you know struggling with in the past those challenges come to an end here let's get one more virgo let's just get one more oh wow you've got the magician magic comes alive in your life what you need virgo to be a success will manifest if you believe it you can do it so those are good cards for you, Virgo. I'm going to leave your reading here. Um, I hope that you enjoyed that. If you want to get a personal reading, again, link is in the description box. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.